think so. So we're back to the boat. We got here Wednesday morning. It's Friday. And it's a bit of a wreck. It's been a steamy hot mess for about six months inside. So we've been cleaning. Trying stuff away. Today we're gonna go grocery shopping and Lauren's got some cavities to have filled. By the way, it's Lauren behind the camera today. So she's gonna pan out to the right here and give you a, a look at Ocean World Marina where we've been staying. And this is the casino and dance club that they have here. There's a lifestyle holidays resort that's just on the other side of the seawall from us. Well, on the other side of the beach. It's on the other side of the seawall. So they have a big pool up here and a casino, dance club. It's pretty ritzy. We're not allowed to go in there because we're just sailor scum. But that's all right. It's my hot first mate right there. What did you say? Nothing. So this is more of the area where we're not allowed. This is the trendy bar. It's at the marina, but marina patrons aren't allowed. This guy right here in the staff shirt, that's Eddie. He's the nicest guy that you'll ever meet in the Dominican Republic. Eddie! Hey, Pedro! Pedro and Eddie. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Serena for a little bit of grocery shopping, which is like a little tiny Walmart. Yeah, I guess like a Walmart, maybe a mini Target. They have groceries and clothes, and we found out yesterday that they actually have guitars here too, so we might look at picking one up so I can learn to pick some strings. And other way.
break from the boat today. It's been a little rocky. The nor'easter up north is pushing some pretty major swell down here. You can see these uh, tour boats. They're supposed to be out whale watching, but they're stuck in here for the week. According to Windfinder, the swells are pushing 12 feet. So we're going to walk around the corner and head to the beach and check things out. So Ocean World consists of more than just the marina. Also got an adventure park here that's similar to SeaWorld back home. This is the main entrance. This is the back side of the adventure park. As you can see, it butts right up to the beach. This is Kofresi Beach. It swells are pretty big out there. So the part of the beach that we're on here is public. It's pretty riddled with trash from all the swell. There's some gentlemen up there that are they've been cleaning up several bags. It's kind of hard to see from here, but several bags of trash already. You can see on the ground here just how, how much junk's been washed in. They don't smell pretty. Taste it. Taste it. Can't tell. They're not fragrant like white. We brought several yards of a fabric called Pfeiffertex to make some screens for our windows, which is this material here. It's kind of a rubberized mesh fabric. And uh, we gave it to Tommy, who works here at the marina, and he came out, measured, cut, got them all ready. And so now we're ready to install, but I need a snap tool to put the snaps on the covers themselves so we can snap them on the window. So let's run up there and grab it. Hey, Tommy. Hey, sir. Do you have the, yeah, for so the snaps? How are you, Gusto? Ah, very nice. You do okay. have a user? Yes. Okay. Yep. Snap on this side, come on that side. Thank you very much. <laughs> if I need any help, I'll come get you. Okay, okay. Thank you, Tommy. Let me know. So we're continuing to work on projects on the boat. The cockpit is an absolute disaster. That's what I'm tackling today. It's going to get some paint. But I want to take a minute and introduce you guys to Heisu. Uh, he came by a couple days ago, well it's probably been about five days ago, and asked about cleaning the bottom. And so we came to an agreement uh, for some bottom cleaning. And then he just kept coming back and helping. 
and kept telling me he didn't want any money, that he was just a nice guy. And then his friend Arturo, who was our diesel mechanic, had said that I was a nice guy, so he just wanted to help. So I want to take a minute and introduce you guys. He's over here right now. He's working on doing some fiberglass repair for us on the rub rail. And he's going to paint. Jesus, do you say hola? Hola, hello. <laughs> so as you can see down there, he's working on some fiberglass repair that he noticed. He was planning on just painting uh, the rub rail today. He's got some resin that's having a nice reaction there. This might get interesting. <laughs> so Jesus done a lot for us. He uh, kind of gave me the basics of how to roll on this paint that we put on. We put new top coat. And he's been working on cleaning our bright work for us. You can see here the difference. It's clean on the right. Still tarnished there on the left. This guy's amazing. I'm hoping that uh, we can come to an agreement. He keeps telling me he doesn't want any money. But he's going to get some later. I'm beginning to really love the people here. Everybody's very helpful and friendly. What a mess. So, it's been another long day of completing projects on the boat. Um, Lisa's in the kitchen, in the galley, cooking. Girls are hanging out. And uh, I just wanted to fill you in on what we've got done. The uh, co cockpits are now completely painted, um, so that's nice and clean now. We also got uh, a new coat of paint on the swim deck uh, with some new anti-skid. Um, Tommy, who you met in the video when we went and grabbed the snap tool from him, he we were actually using that tool to put snaps on the window screens uh, that he made for us. We brought uh, some Pfeiffer Tech screen material with us from Georgia, packed it in a suitcase and brought it along. And uh, he was able to make screens for all the big windows. And he also uh, made us a new cover uh, for our large hatch to keep the sun out. We were pleased enough with the work that he did on the screens that we had him also uh, replace our bimini top for us. So that's nice new fabric and looks fresh and clean. Uh, hey Sue cleaned all the bright work um, so all our stainless outside looks nice and shiny. I was able to make new bow seats uh, for the bow pulpits so we have removable seats now that the girls or Lisa and I can use uh, when we're having good weather on a sail or just hanging out on anchor. Um, give us a new perspective and nice place to hang out. And then Lisa's been busy on the interior since we got here um, cleaning and disinfecting and doing touch-up paint. Uh, like I said, it was it was a hot steamy mess in here, so we finally had some dry weather and everything was allowed to dry out a bit. It's not quite so hot and humid in here anymore. Um, she also found the time to reorganize the front storage area and repaint and clean up the entire front bathroom. So it looks nice and new and and uh, a lot bigger than it did we were able to store the water maker in the storage area as a post uh, on the floor and the shelf in there so it's a nice big big bathroom in there now so we've been busy but everything's coming together and uh, we'll be ready to get out of here soon so we're excited so today's finally the day we're all done in Dominican Republic and we've actually been here since we flew back uh, today is our 30th day so if we don't leave today we get to pay them more money to stay for a week so we're not we're gonna go ahead and leave uh, all the major projects on the boat are done the engines complete and good to go so we just need to head up to the office and settle our account and hopefully say our goodbyes and maybe get a group photo with everybody that we can that's here and uh, it's been great um, but we're looking forward to sailing on Turks and Caicos is our next stop and hopefully in about 16 to 20 hours we'll be dropping anchor in Grand Turks so 
we will catch up with you there. Adios. Everybody at Ocean World, Eddie's hauling us back to the boat. It's time to take off. Hopefully, everything's going to be great. We've had a great time here. We're going to miss the minute. Take two. So today is finally the day. We're all done and uh, where are we? Dominican Republic? Mm -hmm.